Today I'm working out at Equinox Beverly Hills for the very first time and I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the vibe, the group fitness classes, and the most popular question of them all, is it worth the price? What up guys, Brody Nicholas here and welcome to episode 10 of my 90 day body transformation. Today I got to try out Equinox for the very first time and not just any Equinox, I got to try out Equinox Beverly Hills which I feel as as Equinox as it gets. For those of you that don't know, Equinox is a super bougie elite fitness brand that has gyms in all the major cities across the United States like LA, Miami, New York City, San Francisco, just to name a few and they definitely target a certain demographic of people. I spent most of my time at big box gyms that are a little more discount like 24 hour fitness, crunch. So I knew this was going to be a little different going into it. And to be honest, I was all about it. From what I've seen on social media, it doesn't seem like this is the type of gym where you rock the 2019 charity self-made cutoff that I usually rock to the gym. That is why I went ahead and grabbed the one pair of Lululemon shorts that I owned and I threw those on and I was on my way. I'm getting to try Equinox today thanks to my friend Debbie who's a member and was able to get me a complimentary guest pass and we're meeting up with a few other friends to do two group fitness classes. So let's start there, the names of these classes. The first one is called Somerset's Upper Body Pump, which is pretty normal, but the second class is called Somerset's Best But Ever. I mean, hey, that's a strong statement. I'm about it. I actually waited all week for someone to ask me what I was working out today so I could tell them that I was doing the Best But Ever class, but uh, no one asked me what I was working out today. So anyway, I live in Orange County, so without any traffic, Beverly Hills is only about 40 minutes away, but seeing there's no such thing as no traffic here, uh, I've got over an hour car ride, so here we go. Once I got past the freeway traffic, Beverly Hills was super nice. It really is such a vibe here. I know not everyone's a fan of LA, but I really do enjoy LA for the most part. For the most part. So I pull up and I see there's no suburban parking lot like the gyms I'm used to, but instead a business parking garage that you have to go into. And this place was quite the mission to find. I'm down a couple levels right now. And is this it? All right, I think I I can park here. A few moments later. Okay, so I've officially made it to Equinox in the bottom of this parking garage in Beverly Hills. It was very bright and sunny, very Beverly Hills, and now it's kind of dark down here. But uh, anyways, we're gonna get it going. True Wild stopped by yesterday and dropped off a bunch of awesome product. This is their Motion Endurance Performance Hydration Pineapple Mango Energy um, Mix. So instead of my usual pre-workout, I'm gonna try a scoop of this. Kinda hyped for this workout though. Ooh, that's really good. That's really, really good. Let's go smash this workout. Once I got out of the car, I soon found out I was not the only one that had a hard time finding this gym. You guys go to the gym? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's where we're going. All right. Preston, where you go to D. D? Right behind you. Cool, appreciate it. What floor are we going to? What floor is it on? We're on level one. Are you going to be on that elevator? The elevators were super weird. There were no buttons on the inside of the elevators. There was just a touch screen on the outside of the elevators where you had to tell it where you were going. So if you got off on the wrong floor, there was no way to go back to where you came from unless you had an access code from one of the other businesses or like us, luckily ran into somebody that knew what they were doing. Thank you. Thank you. How good workout. Thank you. Thank you. I'll go to the gym too. <laughs> Why do you see Such an odd place for a gym, but... All right, here we go. But once I did finally find the Equinox, I was like, damn, this place is next level. When you walk in, there's a super nice retail store that leads you right to the front desk. I got checked in and I immediately went to the bathroom, did a fit check. All right, so we're rocking the spread good baby hat backwards. We got the NSD cutoff. And then of course we've got the one pair of Lululemon shorts that I own, followed by some Black Brooks for the shoe game. They had quite a bit of cardio machines, free weights, just about any workout machine you could think of. There is multiple floors to explore and I really wanted to film more for you guys, but this place was packed and I didn't want anybody to think I was filming them. I was honestly surprised at how packed it was at noon on a Friday, but then again, a lot of people here are actors and actresses, so maybe that's why. But for how expensive I hear it is to work out here, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more exclusive and way less busy. But anyways, now it's time to check out these classes. Upper body pump was intense. Walking into this, I kind of didn't really know what to expect. I honestly thought it was going to be a little little easier, but uh, yeah, I, ha- I had it all wrong. This, this thing was crazy. All of the moves are pretty simple, so I definitely say it's a good class for beginners, but with that being said, I was pushing it. You can pick whatever weights you want to use and really go at your own pace, so you can make it as easy or as hard as you'd like. 
I was definitely hurting through all these sets. And then when we got to the best butt ever class, yeah, my booty was hurting. Again, simple exercises, but the energy was all the way up. You pulled in four, in three, in two, we pulled in go. Sorry, in three, you give me four. I smashed just about 600 calories in both classes. So for me, this was a sign that this was truly a great workout. How was that for you? That was intense. That was a lot harder than I planned. Yeah, my butt is pumped up. It's best butt, best butt, yeah. best butt class, right? We had a really cool instructor named Luis. And at the end of the class, he saw we were all content creators. So he gave us a little private class, which was a lot of fun. Yes! We're moving quick, we're moving quick, come on. Put that booty to the floor, come on. Look at this! <laughs> After we got out of the class, I decided to roam around Equinox and check it out a little bit more. So next up is the amenities. I am a sucker for warm towels and Equinox definitely did not disappoint. Warm towels. There were Q-tips, razors, and Grown Alchemist products for free that you can use. And also there was a free mouthwash. So you know how to grab a sample. Cheers. They also had a steam room, but again, it was super busy. So I strayed away from filming in here. Next, we went and checked out the bottom floor, which seemed to be the most empty and quiet. So I got a nice little stretch in here and also got to try out one of those expensive vibrator machines. I used to see these as a kid at Sharper Image and I never tried one. This is actually the first gym I've ever seen that actually has one. So if you actually know what these are about, use one, let me know what's up in the comments because I still really don't even know what I was doing. This is so cool. After that, we did a quick walk in the main floor where I found more towels. This time it was a cold scented towel and man, Equinox just winning me over with these style points. Wow, it smells minty. After that, we finished up with some cardio and called it a day. Overall, I'd have to say I surprisingly liked Equinox a lot more than I expected to. Going into this, I heard a lot of people say that Equinox has people that are pretentious and it might not be the most comfortable place to work out. And if I look for that, I guess I could see it. I mean, a lot of the girls had full faces of makeup on the cardio machines and the guys definitely had a different aura about them, whether that was cockiness or confidence or just simply minding their own business. But for me, it was kind of an upgrade in energy and it was kind of nice being surrounded by people who are striving for success and willing to invest and putting themselves in a place where they're around more like-minded people. I had a great time with my friends, got an awesome workout in, and met a really cool trainer who we ended up partying with the next day. So just like anything else in life, you get what you put in. If you go into any gym or any situation optimistic, open-minded, and just looking to be the best version of yourself, most of the time it's gonna work out, and today was a perfect example of that. Now lastly, price. Depending on what time of the year you sign up at and what branch location you sign up at, I've heard from various members that you can pay anywhere from the $200 range to the $500 range per month for your Equinox membership. I know that sounds like a lot. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Sh I'm saying. Okay, it is a lot of money. But when you break it down, I really do see the value. Again, the classes are fire. They have equipment that you can't find at most other gyms. The locker room amenities are great. And again, if this is something you're interested in, you're surrounded by a lot of people who are successful or at least striving to success. And just like anywhere else, you never know who you're gonna meet. They have membership options that give you access to that one Equinox, all the Equinoxes in the city or the area, or an all access pass to all Equinoxes in the United States. Now here's the one part that's really hard to swallow. There is no month to month memberships. They make you sign a one year contract. Although I believe in long-term fitness, that is a long financial commitment, especially for younger people like myself and my friends. And for how much I travel, even if I live close to an Equinox, it'd be really, really hard to commit to that. If you're looking to sign up and you're looking to save some money, this is what I'd suggest. I'd suggest getting in touch with them and then taking your time through the signup process. The day after I tried Equinox, a rep reached out to me saying if I signed up today, he would waive the $300 initiation fee, which I know to some people 300 bucks isn't a lot, but for me, that's, that's like a free month of Equinox. And with that being said, I did not reply. And two weeks later, I got another email from them saying, if you sign up today, we will give you the $300 initiation fee waived and we'll give you one month free Equinox. So that's actually a pretty good deal. And I'm pretty tempted to join, but no, 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 no. I can't, I can't. I'm saving for a wedding and a house and a new car and... Yeah, no Equinox, no. 
But anyways, my first ever experience at Equinox was a really great one. Yeah, the parking was a little weird and the elevator was a little wonky and it was really packed for a Friday at noon. But again, every Equinox is different and this was just my perspective as a one day guest user at the Beverly Hills location. If you work out at Equinox, whether it be the Beverly Hills location or another location, or you've never worked out at Equinox and you like this video, please let me know in the comments. And if you know of a gym I should check out, please let me know. And as always, thank you so much for your support of my itty bitty YouTube channel. We are slowly growing every single day and I've been having a blast doing it. So thank you all so much for watching. And a quick update on my 90 day body transformation. Today is day 58 and I'm feeling great. My next video will be highlighting day 60. Two months down, which means there are only 30 days left of this challenge. So please be sure to continue following along as I get in the best shape of my life. And if you're digging what I'm doing, digging what you're watching, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and smash the bell button. And I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Let's keep getting jacked.